Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git and general improvements of Eclipse 202006, improvements that have been added since the last release in March three months ago. The first thing you will notice on Windows is a light grey instead of a blue background, making the icons and colours in other places stand out more. Another visible change you might have spotted is that there are square instead of round tabs by default on Windows as well as on Linux and on Mac OS. Eclipse looks cleaner now, doesn't it? A nice thing is in the Preferences, General, Keys, you can now not only choose whether to display keyboard shortcuts of executed commands, but also choose when to display them. Choose through mouse click to get the shortcuts you are not using if you'd like to learn them. Or when doing a presentation, choose through keyboard so your audience can follow which shortcuts you're using. Hello audience, are you ready to follow me to the Java improvements? In the Eclipse 202006 Java IDE, Java 14 support is now built in. No need to install it via the marketplace anymore. When creating a new Java project, for instance via Find Actions Control 3, to demonstrate the displaying of shortcuts that we've just switched on, you can select the JRE to use from a list that now goes up to Java 14. This is an impressively long list of Java versions that are supported by the Eclipse compiler for Java, isn't it? Make sure when using Java 14 that you have configured a Java 14 JDK in the Preferences, Java, Installed JREs. In Java 14, switch expressions have become standard, without further changes, compared to them as a second preview feature in Java 13. All four switch expression and statement templates can be used without enabling preview features. Or, within an expression, both new switched expression templates. There is a new quick fix for cases where return is written instead of yield by mistake. Eclipse also provides tool support for the three preview features of Java 14 – records, text blocks and pattern matching for instance of. A new quick way to enable the preview features is to right-click the project and choose Configure – Enable Preview Features. Now you can create a record for your shallowly immutable data via the new New Java Record dialog. Or if the file is empty via the New Record template. Moreover, the Java formatter has been extended by various settings for records. In case you're wondering why record is not highlighted here, record is like var, a restricted identifier, not a keyword. In the preview feature text blocks, two new escape sequences have been added compared to Java 13. A single backslash at the end of the line suppresses the line break. There must be no spaces after the single backslash, otherwise Eclipse will show an error. The escape sequence backslash s prevents trailing white space from being stripped. A new preview feature is pattern matching for instance of. It is a classic instance of plus variable assignment to the cast value in 1. Just add the name of the variable that should contain the cast value at the end of the regular instance of and you can use the variable inside the valid scope.
Also in an expression, pattern matching for instance of can be used as a conditional operator. These were the Java 14 support improvements. By the way, the Gradle support has also been improved for running and building with Java 14. Let's have a look at the improvements that are helpful, also for older Java versions. There are three new cleanup options that can be applied manually or on save as so-called save actions, which will be enabled in Project, Properties, Java Editor, Save Actions. Two of the three new options can be found in the Code Style tab. Var, which was introduced in Java 10, can be used wherever possible to use a local variable type inference, instead of having type definitions. Diamond operators will be filled with generic parameter types from the type definition, and in some cases a literal suffix will be added to numbers to make sure the type stays the same when being inferred. To replace simple logical AND and OR operators with their corresponding conditional operators, check the checkbox Use lazy logical operators. Not executing the right side might change the semantics of your code. Therefore, this cleanup will only be applied if the right side is known to be free of side effects. If the right side contains any assignments, increments, decrements, method calls or object creations, nothing will be changed. That's smart, isn't it? In the Unnecessary Code tab, there is the new option Merge Conditions of if-else, if-else that have the same blocks. Merging happens even if the blocks are formatted differently or contain different comments. In such cases, the first block survives. The Java debugger has been improved to inspect synthetic variables, variables generated by the Java compiler for corner cases where previously resolving the variable has failed. Here, this is such a corner case, where the Java compiler generated a synthetic variable to access outside of this anonymous class, the method parameter predicate, which can now be inspected inside the anonymous class. Until now, a null pointer exception told you in which line it occurred, but not what was null. If you want to receive more helpful null pointer exception messages, you can use the VM argument that has been introduced in Java 14 to turn on helpful null pointer exceptions as follows. In the preferences, Java, install JREs, select the JRE or JDK, click edit, and in default VM arguments, enter minus xx colon plus show code details in exception messages. This VM feature is already available in all hotspot Java 14 VMs, for example those from Oracle and the hotspot VMs from Adopt Open JDK. In contrast, the Eclipse OpenJ9 Java 14 VM does not yet have it, but will have slightly simpler helpful null pointer exceptions messages starting with the next release on July 20, 2020 in Java 14 and thanks to a single source base probably also in Java 8 and 11. The Git support has been improved as well. In the Git repositories view, tags can be filtered now. Select the tags node, right click and choose filter tags or hit Ctrl F. You can use wildcards an asterisk for any string, a question mark for any character, and, like in regular expressions, a caret as prefix for starts with, and a dollar sign to mark the end. The number sign followed by a number, for instance 10, shows only the 10 most recent tags according to the commit date of the commit they point to. A tag filter can be set per repository and persists until it will be replaced by a new one. In the clone git repositories dialog, there is a new button to clone from a git bundle file. 
A git bundle file is an archive file, like a zip file, but in a git specific format that, for example, can be created on the command line via the command git bundle create. In the git staging view, when the git staging is empty, the commit and push button becomes push head. Now you can stay in the git staging view to push a series of commits committed without pushing before to the remote repository, without having to go somewhere else to do so. In the commit viewer, in the diff tab there is now a quick outline to navigate to a change of a specific file. And in the corresponding regular outline view, you can now toggle the presentation between flat folder list and the new folder tree presentation. Apart from these Java and Git specific improvements, there are several small general platform improvements making coding easier independent of the language used. Ligatures that were previously fully supported on Linux and macOS only are now fully supported on Windows too. So you can now use, also on Windows, a font with programming ligatures like FireCode, Monoid or Victor Mono. In the Preferences, General, Appearance, Colors and Fonts, choose for Basic, Text Font, a font with programming ligatures. This turns, for example, the combination of a minus followed by a greater than sign into a real looking rightwards arrow ligature. The same applies for not equal or for less than equal or equal and other combinations of characters depending on which ligatures the font contains. Another minor improvement you might want to know about. When you create a file and specify a path, non-existent folders will be created instead of the dialog refusing to create the file in such a case. Not only the light theme mentioned at the beginning, but also the dark theme has been improved. Let's switch to the dark theme to see what it looks like now. By the way, in the preferences, general, appearance, where you switch to the dark theme, there is a new checkbox with which you can turn off the new square tabs, just in case you don't like them. Switching the theme requires a restart. Here is the new splash screen. Do you like it? I guess you do. If not, don't worry. Eclipse now takes less time to start. On Windows 10, everything is now dark the menu and all scroll bars. Not only on Windows, the view toolbar colors are now more consistent. Like the light theme, everything looks a bit smoother and cleaner now, doesn't it? In the Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java developers, which is the most frequently downloaded Eclipse IDE package, and in the Eclipse IDE for PHP developers, the editor from the Eclipse Wild Web Developer Project is now used for JavaScript files, which provides code completion also for HTML objects, like for example for document, or for location. Please note, on Linux, Eclipse now requires instead of GTK 3.14, GTK 3.20 or higher. Eclipse is 100% free and open source, and if you want to support Eclipse, go to the help menu and follow Donate, just above Contribute, where you can become a hero. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release June 2020. If you've missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!